Let's talk about mantelic acid. What is it? It is an alpha hydroxy acid, just like glycolic, lactic, malic, and so on. Um, what it does is dissolve the bonds between the dead cells so that there is exfoliation, there is cellular renewal. However, unlike glycolic, this one is a larger molecule. So what happens is that the penetration is slower, which makes it gentler. So if you are someone who's sensitive to glycolic acid, mantelic acid is a better option. As I said, uh, the molecule is larger, so it penetrates slower into the skin, which means that uh, it is not going to be as harsh as glycolic or as strong as glycolic. Now, I have with me two different mantelic acids. Both are cruelty-free, vegan, and without any fragrance. And I'm going to compare and contrast these for you. The first one is from Wish Trend, and the second one is from The Ordinary. Uh, both very famous brands, obviously, when it comes to skincare. Wish Trend is Korean, and The Ordinary, as you know, is from Desia. So, Wish Trend first. This is 120 mils of product. $22 for 120 mils of product. Now, this is the amandelic acid 5% skin prep water. I have used so far so much of product. In, I think, about um, six weeks or eight weeks or so. So, I think uh, I have a fair idea of what this is like for me. So, this is very, very watery, water-based. What you do is you apply it on a cotton pad and then apply it to the face. The pH is 4.5, which is incredibly good. Um, what it does is it removes dead skin cells and soothes dull and rough skin. It is an exfoliating water formulated with mandelic acid, which works gently even on sensitive skin. Removing built-up dead skin to enhance the effects of following of the following skincare products. It helps even it helps even out a dull or uneven skin tone and smoothens rough skin. Now, after cleansing, you apply an adequate amount of product to the skin and pat lightly to absorb. If more effective exfoliation is desired, saturate a cotton pad with product and use it to wipe the skin. That's how I do it because I prefer stronger exfoliation or more effective exfoliation as they call it. And not only that, because this is watery, applying it directly on your fingers doesn't really work. It sort of slips uh, and you lose a lot of product. Now, it contains water, mandelic acid, butylene glycol, a bunch of things I can't pronounce and uh, beta-glucan, panthenol, which is B5, centella reishetica, which is a herb, it is a very regenerative herb, hutunia cordata, I've talked about hutunia cordata extract, it's very, very good for anti-acne treatment, another herb. Uh, it's in lots of Korean uh, products, such as Zymogen, and I use that range for anti-acne treatment. So that's the sort of ingredient list. And as I said, a very water-based product. Now, first of all, for 20... $2, you get 120 mils. Secondly, although this is only 5%, not only is the pH 4.5, which means it is low enough for exfoliation to take place, uh, but also, you know, you get more product for just 5%. Secondly, I prefer 5%. It's fine enough for my skin. Now, my skin is used to very strong acids, but I find that this is sufficient for, you know, renewing my skin overnight each morning so that I don't end up with dull skin. And it also contains sodium hyaluronate, obviously hyaluronic acid, for hydration. So that makes it not so harsh on skin. Now let's compare the ordinary. This one is just 30 mils, and for 30 mils of product, this one costs £5.80. Now I know £22, £5, sorry, $22, not pounds, $22, £5.80. Big difference there, but this is 30 mils of product, and that is 120 mils of product. That's the first difference. Secondly, this one claims to be 10% mandelic acid with hyaluronic acid. The Wish Trend version is only 5% uh, mandelic acid. Now, apart from that, what it says here is apply once per day, ideally in the PM. And this one is supposed to visibly target uneven tone, textural irregularities and fine lines. And it contains mandelic acid, water, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and a bunch of things that I can't really pronounce. I prefer the version with the centella reishetica and the hoitunia cordata extract for obvious reasons. Now, the problem with this is, first of all, the texture is thick, and secondly, like so many other products from The Ordinary, it is basically an oil. 
and I have very very greasy skin if you've been watching my videos you know that I have a greasy film uh, on my skin you know during in the course of my videos I do my makeup come in front of the camera and then I turn greasy on camera so that's how greasy I am and uh, you can probably see your own reflection on my face after a while so uh, when I'm that greasy I really don't want oily formulations near my skin that's the first problem the second problem is that this greasiness, this oiliness, makes it very difficult to layer the ordinary products. That is my problem with the ordinary's retinol, uh, the ordinary squalene, and so many other EUK, uh, the antioxidant that is, and the resveratrol and so on. They're all oily in texture, and that makes it very difficult to layer the products. And uh, they also have another vitamin C formulation, the ascorbic acid, not the 23% suspension, another one, 20%. Very, very oily, impossible to layer that. So, and not only that, I'm oily anyway, I have sebum on my skin, you don't need to supply more. So, I'd rather not use those uh, textures. Now, as you can see, this is going to be very oily, see that? Very thick as well, not watery. So, that's the oil. Now, I'll just spread it out a bit. So, you can see that this is actually very oily there. So, can you see that? It's not getting absorbed. Look at that. Still very, very greasy indeed. Very oily. Now, this won't happen with the Wish Trend one because that is entirely water based. A couple of drops. So, that's how much I've taken out. And let's spread that one out. Already gone. Barely there. Where's the grease? Slightly damp, you can see that it's slightly damp, but where's the grease? Now this one, still greasy. Can you see that? Still greasy over here. And this one, not greasy. So that is my huge problem with not only this, but a bunch of other formulations from The Ordinary. Works by all means if you are dry skinned, if you can tolerate more grease on your skin, but if you are this dripping, greasy, filthy feeling skinned person that's not a um, grammatically correct but it's, it's if you are one of those filthy feeling skinned persons as i am then uh, this one won't suit as much now what i do to work around this problem is use this as a spot treatment over acne that is on its way out that is flattening not active cyst because you don't want to supply more sebum to an active cyst but uh, once a cyst ruptures or is flattening and is on its way out i use this one as a spot treatment so that way i intend to use this up now as i said although this one is 10 percent and this is five percent only the five percent is sufficient in my book and it contains antelo reshitica and hoitunia cordata extract which is better for acne uh, which is, which are two products that work very well for hormonal acne in my case. Central Reshitika is a herb which, with the regenerative properties and Utunia Cordata is something that works very well for adult hormonal acne. So I'm glad it contains those products. And more importantly, the Wish Trend formulation has a pH of 4.5 and I'm not sure what the pH of the ordinary um, mandelic acid is. Uh, they haven't specified it and I haven't bothered to test it out because I'm, you know, the oil, I don't know how that works, you know, testing the pH of an oil formulation. But um, although this is stronger, as I said, I would prefer this one because of the more, you know, more ingredients and 5% is sufficient enough to perform the exfoliation that it needs to do. And it has a lower pH, as I said. Um, Price-wise, there's not much to pick and choose between the two. £5.8 for 30 ml of product. This is $22 for 120 ml of product, so not much to choose. Ingredient-wise, this has more ingredients that work for acne. This has fewer ingredients that work for acne. On the other hand, this is 10%. However, it is where formulation is concerned that the hugest difference lies. This is oily in formula, thick, greasy, still greasy there. Can you see the shine? No greasy here, all gone, very much. That is a difference. So. I like to use this as an acid right after cleansing my face, whereas with this one that becomes a bit problematic and I'm not sure how to layer it uh, with my other skincare products to follow as well. 
So if you don't mind a greasy formulation, if you don't uh, mind, uh, you know, if you have a fair idea as to how you can layer your sort of oily products from the ordinary, then by all means go in for the 30 percent, 30 mil, uh, the ordinary mentholic acid, 10 percent. And if you don't mind a stronger formulation as well. Now, because uh, if you are not used to acids at all, this could be too strong for you. However, if you want a 120 mil bottle that will run out, you know, slower, that is matte in finish, that doesn't leave a greasy residue at all, that has anti-acne ingredients as well, then the Wish Trend Mandelic Acid 5%, skin prep water, you can all detail from that, is a fabulous choice and it makes it very easy to layer a vitamin C because, you know, vitamin C needs to go on when your skin's pH is low. So this is a pH of 4.5%. And you can apply your vitamin C straight after this. Or if you like layering lightweight hydrating serums, you can do so after this because no greasy residue absorbs almost immediately. Again, no alcohol content. So that's not a problem either. So of the two, I obviously prefer the Wish Trend formulation. And I would recommend this. But then I'm very acneic. I'm also very oily skinned and greasy. And um, there's a lot of sebum on my skin. So that's why I prefer this formulation. So if I'm recommending this, you must keep that in mind. I don't have dry skin at all. So uh, I don't know how it will work for people with dry skin or, you know, for the ordinary fans. There's a lot of those. So now you know about mentalic acid, what it does, and uh, of the two formulations that are most widely sort of used and hyped in the market. And uh, my preference, obviously, is for the Wish Trend one because I don't like greasy formulations and I prefer watery ones, no residue. I also like that this has anti acne ingredients for Tunacord Data Extract and the Regenerative Central Ratio Ticker Extract as well. So, huge fan of this. And I like that it has a lower pH so I can layer my vitamin C straight on top of this. And because it is not greasy, it's easier to layer products on top as well. However, if you're very dry skinned, if you prefer an oily formulation, then this is a good choice for you, I suppose. But then, you know, a lot of people say if a formula is greasy, you put it on top of everything else. But why would you put an acid, which is supposed to exfoliate, on top of other products? On top of a hydrating product or a nourishing product? That's what I don't understand. Because you can't layer an exfoliating product above a nourishing or hydrating product. So that makes it difficult to use this. I don't get it. Skincare is subjective. It's just an opinion. Let's all agree to disagree if we don't uh, see eye to eye on something. That is all there to it. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.